In this video, I'm going to discuss a different example of a rate of change in which there are values that are changing, both are changing with respect to time. Let's take an example. The radius of a circular blob of ink is increasing at a constant rate of one fifth centimeters per second. So a circular blob is like if you drop an ink, then we can consider like a circular um, area, okay? It's a circular blob of ink when you drop the ink on the on, say on the surface, and say the radius of that circular blob is changing. So from a small blob and then the circular blob is increasing. Now if that circular blob is increasing then the radius of that circular area is also increasing. It is mentioned that that change which is with respect to time is given by one-fifth centimeters per second. So if I note the radius as r then the rate of change of r, which is dr over dt, is equal to one fifth centimeters per second. A very important note is that the radius is changing with respect to time. Okay. Now, what we are actually looking for here in this problem is that we want to find the rate at which the area is changing or increasing when the radius is 10 centimeters okay so we are particularly interested with the derivative of a with respect to time not even with respect to the radius. So we want to find the rate of change of the area with respect to time given a specific value of the radius at that instance when the radius is already 10 centimeters. So going back to our illustration, the blob of ink started with a small circle so it is scattering say let's have an ideal state so it is scattering so as the circle or the circular area is increasing so is the radius okay now you want to find how fast is the area changing at the moment okay rate of change how fast how fast is the area changing at the moment when the radius is already 10 centimeters so how do we deal with this we need to find a connection between an area and the radius. And since we are speaking of, or we're talking of the area of the circle, then the function to be used should be the area function for a circle, which is pi r squared. Okay? Now, critical to this is that we have derivatives with respect to time. So if I have to get the derivative of the area with respect to time, I have to deal with r with respect to time as well. If you remember the concept of implicit differentiation, that will play a big role in differentiating the area here with respect to time. Now let's let's do that here. If the area if the area is pi r squared, r is not the dependent or the independent variable. Okay. So to get the derivative of a with respect to time, the derivative of a is dA over dt. We always say that, like if we have y, the derivative of y is dy over dx, 
if it is with respect to x. So if it's with respect to time, the area, the derivative of area is dA over dt. Now how do we differentiate pi r squared? We use the basic rule on differentiation, noting that r should be differentiated with respect to time. So to do that, I'll show you how. So pi r squared, the exponent is 2, will be multiplied to pi, so it becomes 2 pi. The r to the 2 becomes r to the 1, that's minus 1 of 2. And then doing the some sort of chain rule, because we brought down the 2, we still have to differentiate r with respect to time. And the derivative of r with respect to time is dr over dt. So this is dr over dt. In simplest terms, this is 2 pi r dr over dt. Now, if I want to compute for the change in the area, how fast is the area changing with respect to time, all I have to do is to apply this formula. 2 times pi times the given radius. Okay. Now, we want to find the change of the area, how fast, or the rate of change in the area with respect to time when the radius is equal to 10. So that means the r to be used here should be 10. Now what is dr over dt? We have that value a while ago. We said that the change of radius with respect to time is dr over dt and is given by positive 1 fifth centimeters per second. Okay, so this will be replaced by 1 over 5. By the way, some quick note. If you notice, there are words like increasing in the problem. When you have an increasing rate, always make the rate positive. And in the future, if you have a decreasing rate, if I say decreasing at the rate of one-fifth, then the number that you should su supply should be negative one-fifth. Okay? For negative rate, you have to use, or for the negative means decreasing rate. Okay? So keep that in mind. In the future, you'll be using something or uh, you'll be encountering something with a negative or decreasing rate. Okay, but for now, since we have a positive rate, so it's positive 1 over 5. So simplifying this, so 2 pi times 10 times 1 fifth is basically, so cancel 10 and 5, that's 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So this is 4 pi or 4 times 3.14 if you want to use 3.14 4 pi. Okay. So for the units, the area, so this is involving centimeters. So cm squared, so the area in cm squared is changing by 4 pi. Okay. Cm squared per second. Okay. So it is not the usual example wherein you just simply get the derivative and then find the value of that derivative. So this is a special case. We have connected rates of change. There's a rate of change for area, there's a rate of change for the radius, and they're both changing with respect to time. Okay, so you do some sort of implicit differentiation when you differentiate a function wherein two values are changing both with respect to time. Now, connected rates of change are not limited to circle problems. It can be a rectangular object. It can be a triangular object. So the key idea here if you, is that if you're looking for a function that will relate the given values, say for example you're talking about rectangular area then you have to use length and the width of the rectangle if it's a triangle you have to use the base and the height of the triangle okay so do not limit yourself to just circle problems okay but keep in mind the idea whenever it says there's a rate that is increasing there is a rate that is decreasing it's all about derivatives so rate of change in area is dA over dt 
rate of change in radius is dr over dp. Okay? Now, just some quick notes because a lot of students will be um, confused or sometimes confused with the idea of connected rates of change. If my area function is pi r squared and I want to find dA over dr, which is not with respect to time, it is with respect to the radius. The dA over dr is 2 pi r, and there's no need for you to put dr over dr, okay? It's simply d, uh, dA over dr is 2 pi r. You are treating r as if it's an x, okay? But when you look for dA over dt, it is with respect to time, the derivative is 2 pi r, but the r should be differentiated with respect to time. You're using chain rule, okay, or implicit differentiation if you want to, to view it that way. So pay close, uh, pay a close attention to these two. They're different with respect to radius and respect to time. Okay, in this problem we use two pi r dr over dt because we're dealing with the area with respect to time. Okay, that's it.